Hey guys, Mike the Vike here, back for yet another Rust update video. This week we've got a whole bunch of interesting stuff to take a look at, so let's get into it. The first major thing we have to check out is the newly added vending machine. This is a brand new system for Rust. It now introduces like a legitimate way to buy and sell goods. Now this is not built or set up anywhere in the game like at Rad Towns or anything like that. This is entirely player set up and coordinated. The way the vending machine works is, firstly, it's craftable, requires 50 high qual and 3 gears, which I think is pretty reasonable. And then you'll have to place it either on the ground anywhere in your base, or, preferably, against the doorway. Once you have it placed on the doorway, you can select which direction to face. This direction is the shop front, this is where your buyers would be. And then on the back side is where you have access to the inventory of the vending machine. So I'll go ahead and place this one. Once you've placed it, you'll want to go to the back and add contents to that vending machine. These are the things you're going to want to sell. And then once you've done that, you can hold E on it and go to administrate. In this menu, you can adjust your sell orders. So for example, if I want to sell these metal fragments, let's say I want to sell 50 for like, I don't know, 200, whoops, 200 wood, I don't know, that sounds like a random deal. Now that I've added that order, if we go to the front as a buyer, we will now see that this vending machine is selling metal frags for the cost of 200 wood. And I can go ahead and buy. And just like that, I got 50 metal frags and there was a nice little sound to it. And overall, very, very cool. Now, on the back side of the vending machine, you can place a code lock so that not just anybody can enter the storage. Probably a pretty darn good idea, because you'll have probably a lot of valuables. And it's pretty cool that the whole system is automated. You could have these things running on their own, and they would be making profit for you. Here's an example of some other buy orders I created. Of course, some of these deals are pretty ridiculous, but, you know, you can do whatever you want, really. And I think that's quite cool. I love the sound to it, I love the texture, I think the whole thing is just awesome. There are a few issues with the system, for example it only shows five items when you're searching for something, which I think, you know, there's a lot of empty space here and it gets kind of annoying looking for exactly the right item. Also, your buy orders or sell orders can only have one item in the transaction. I think it'd be better if you could say like, you'll sell a P250 for like 500 high qual and like some wood, not just one item, you know? But the core functions are in place and I think that's very, very cool. I definitely love the system and it's kind of neat that they're adding all these different ways to play the game. Now, instead of just farming and building a base, you can now like either become like a, a salesman or you can start like a pumpkin farm if you want. Like, you know, they're adding a whole bunch of different directions you can go, which I think is cool. And yeah, just for fun, I went ahead and built a little mock trading center. You know, you can picture something like this. I set the turrets so that they will only shoot if you pull out a weapon, which I think is actually pretty realistic. I think that's fairly safe for your trading things. People do their business here and then they can leave out this way. I really hope that we start seeing some shops like this forming around the map. I mean, people have already done this in the past. The next thing they've changed is they've now made the hatches on the armored doors openable, which is very, very cool. Not only can you see through them, you can also shoot through them, and apparently you can toss grenades too. This is a very, very exciting system. It works on the double doors as well, and I must say it has a very nice sound to it. All in all, just a very, very sweet feature. Nice to have in the game. Kind of risky to do though, honestly, because there could be another guy waiting on the other side with like a double barrel, and that would be bad news. They also made a little change to the furnace or large furnace. Firstly, you can no longer access the inventory by just aiming anywhere. You have to aim at these little alcoves, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, a little bit more realistic, you could argue. 
They've also went ahead and updated a whole bunch of player animations. These look a heck of a lot better than the old ones, and they also like represent the animation better. In the past, you never really knew when somebody was done reloading truthfully. Now it's pretty one-to-one, -one, which is great. You'll also be able to see things like the string on the crossbow going back, and other cool little details, which is nice to see. They also updated some of the sounds for the flame turret. You can hear all the different noises. Definitely sounds different. They also added a bit of a buff to it. It reduces your player movement by even more. They also went ahead and made some pretty good changes regarding the anti-hack. Now, the reason I talk about this is it was actually a bit of an issue on my server. I was noticing a significant increase in fly hacks and cheaters and stuff. And they're saying that they fixed the problem with fly hacks and it shouldn't be as big of a problem anymore, which is great. I hope they're true. They also went ahead and fixed server performance. Last couple weeks have been very, very iffy. We've been getting a lot of server crashes and mostly issues with high entity count servers like mine. Anyways, that should all be resolved this week. I really hope it is. I guess time will tell. That's pretty much everything that was added in the game. Now let's look at some stuff that isn't quite in the game yet. The first thing to take a look at is the overgrowth. It looks like they're making some pretty nice progress on this system. All of the rad towns apparently have this system implemented. There's a whole bunch of nice little screenshots for it, and it's looking very cool. I have no idea when something like this is going to be implemented, but it will definitely add some nice polish. And then the next thing is they are working on those bunker room pipes and everything, making some more progress. We've got some broken pipe variants, we've got a whole bunch of military bunker additions, and it's looking pretty cool. Lastly, I thought I'd bring up the heavy armor. I was pretty confident that they would be adding that in this week. Apparently this is not the case, kind of unfortunate. But that's actually it for this week. I think a pretty quick video, but still pretty nice. I I'm loving those vending machines. I really hope people put them to good use. Anyways, this was recorded on my Rust server. It's a two times modded server with kits, TP, and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you're interested in joining, there's information on how to do so in the description. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. That helps a ton. Also, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I've got lots more videos on the way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.